how does a speaker coil work? Okay, that's a fair, very basic question. It comes from Mark oh, in Manchester, England. Now, yesterday we had an, Engli an Englishman. How does a speaker coil turn an electrical current into sound? I think I know the answer, but as I don't recall hearing you explain it, I'm sure, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure I'm right. Okay, well, it's a simple feat of magic. No, but it is a simple feat of magnetism. So a coil of wire becomes a magnet when you apply a voltage to it. And if you take um, a battery and you hook it up to a coil, you can actually pick up screws and things off your bench, and as soon as you remove the battery, the screws drop. So if you take then a simple a bobbin, the, the little round piece that hooks onto the cone of a woofer, and you wind some copper around there, and then you connect that up to a battery, the, the woofer cone will pop up, and it'll pop down uh, in response to the electrical signal from the battery, the, the energy from the battery, because it's turning into a magnet. And on the bottom of every speaker is this big hunk of iron or ceramic or any kind of material that is magnetic. So you've got a big permanent magnet, and then you have an electrical magnet that as you apply a current in one direction, it moves away from the magnet, is repulsed by the magnet, and as you flip that around, it's attracted to the magnet. So let me show you. I set up a little demo here, and I, I just put a little piece of red, one of our service tags on here, to make it a little bit easier to see the motion. This is just a signal generator, and it makes you know various signals. Now, so watch. If I, you can hear that it's making that sound, right? And I can... But, if I turn it down, let's take it there. Can you see what that's doing? See, it moves very slowly. This is 10 cycles. So 10 times a second, we can't hear that. But 10 times a second, this is moving up and down in response to the electrical signal from the uh, generator. And if I slow it down even more, there's one cycle. See, and I can speed it up a little bit. There, let's see, that's two cycles. So see, 1001, 1002, 1001. It's just moving very slowly up and down. And as the speed, I think, I, let's see if we do, yeah, there you go. You see that? That's a square wave. So, see it goes pop, 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 because it's changing polarity. Boom, 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 boom. And if I put my microphone here, hear it? And if I, that's a square wave. So it's going up, down, up, down, up, down really quick. If I change over to, well, that's a, uh, and there's your, sine wave. Now that's smoother. And it's transitioning from plus to minus, minus to plus, plus to minus, minus to plus in a smooth flow. So that's going up and down. And the square wave gives us that. And you can hear, actually, if we do, hear the difference? That's smooth and nice. Nasty, nasty. That's because of harmonics. So, all right, enough of that. Uh, um, but that's how a coil in a speaker works, and your cone is pressurizing the room and then depressurizing the room a thousand times, ten thousand times, a hundred times, whatever the frequency is, and we get sound. Okay. Hey, any questions like this? We've got a whole staff that um, are here to help with any questions you have. 800 PS Audio, call our Hi-Fi specialists. And thanks for being part of our Hi-Fi family. Talk to you tomorrow.